Greetings, Picky Eaters! Throughout my career as a blogger slash vlogger, I think I made it very clear that I have a soft spot, near obsession, in fact, with dim sum. Recently, I found a restaurant that delivers, not only is it remarkably affordable dim sum, but incredibly delicious as well. Thankfully, during this time of quarantine, they remained open and continued to deliver their amazing products and... Yeah, I'm just so happy that I got a chance to try it for this episode of Quarantine Cuisine. We're going to be trying Yao's Kitchen. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Okay, so. Uh, okay, so. Starting out. This is the dim sum platter. Oh, how beautiful that is. This is shark's fin dumpling and pork with shrimp wontons. As much as I uh, love my family, having to share this is one of the most painful things that I've ever had to do. <laughs> and in the other container, we have shawmai. So this is shrimp and mushroom shawmai and the other is chicken with shrimp and mushroom okay interesting I love some shawmai guys the next thing we said oh thank goodness you can't I keep saying this you cannot have a Chinese meal without yam chow fried rice and my daughter's gonna enjoy this because they got lots of plump shrimps in it. Nice and sticky. They call this Alexandria's chicken. Wow, oh my god, look at that juicy thigh part. Mine. So it is it's pan seared in Yao's Kitchen's special sauce and it also comes with a side of their gravy. Tumatulo na laway ko guys. I will try the yam chow fried rice first and foremost. This is what's gonna tie everything that I ordered together. Mm -hmm. You know what I love about this? I'm a big fan of Chinese sausage. And instantly I can taste it again. Very prominent. Salap. Nice and sticky also. Let's try the shawmai. Mm. I love shawmai guys. And this yao skin shawmai is fantastic. Packed really nicely, full of meat. Juicy. Super sharp. And when you have food in front of you, parang you don't know where to start. Try that other shawmai. I believe this is a chicken naman. Really good also. The flavor is a little bit more subdued versus the pork, but still really good. Nice and seasoned. Top of rice. Part of every bite you get, top of apat na scoop of rice. Trying the pork one ton. Unfortunately, because delivery is it's not as crunchy as I would have preferred. Pero masara. They don't strip on their meat. It's wrapped in a nice uh, wonton wrapper and then deep fried beautifully. I know it was deep fried well because you can still see that may ano pa may lumalaban pa siya to hold together the crunchiness. But it's been out already for like an hour and a half or two hours, so I don't blame Yao's Kitchen for that. I know that they did this right. Flavor wise, like I'm saying, it is spot on. Let's try the shark's fin. Wow, how juicy it is! Alam mo, pag ganito ka sarap yung restaurant, hindi ito mag-review. Ayaw mo magsalita. Ayaw mo na lang kumain. Love the meatiness of it. Sorry. Sinagap ko na eh. Kalimutan ko yung audio camera. That's how excited I was to try. I love the cook on the chicken. Really, really nicely done. Flavor-wise also, it's got a nice seasoning to it. I don't know if it's spice spice or something like that. Kasi may umami na flavor. Alexandria, whoever you are, 
Yao's Kitchen did your name justice with this chicken. You must be a very special person for them to name this delicious chicken after you. You can find more information on how to order from Yao's Kitchen on their Facebook page and their Instagram page. Thanks for watching guys. Remember, stay hungry, stay foolish, and when you can, please stay home. Take care guys. Keep safe.